Endgame gave us so much, so, so, so much, but there are still a few things that got cut. Let's make sense of that. What's up, guys? It's Manuel with Nerds Make Sense, and I'm here with... I'm Ted. I'm Josh. Uh, and today we're going to talk about something that shouldn't take too long. Uh, they're, of course, with Disney+. Plus. Uh, Endgame, is, Endgame is on there. They have all of the other Avengers movies. I think they have all of them, right? Some of them aren't available just yet. I, I think the only ones... I know The ones I know they don't have is Spider-Man. That's the ones yeah. they don't have. Um, um, <clears throat> but... but yeah, because they still have, uh, some of their stuff is still under contract with other streaming services. Yeah. So they have, they basically, they're listed in Disney+. Plus. You can add them to your watch list, but you can't watch them until the contracts are done with those other services. Yeah, and they're going to be up in like a few months, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Endgame is on there. Endgame uh, was like, I think it was on there from like day one. Um, I don't think it ever went to Netflix. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. Their, their deal, they their, knew they were going to do this. Their deal was already up. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's on Netflix, and I I just so happened to, uh, instead of watching the movie, I got caught up watching all of the deleted scenes, the gag reel, all this other stuff, and I was just like, I, I, there's just some interesting things, just some interesting what ifs, because like we had already seen, and people talk about one of the, the deleted scenes, which was the, um, the older Morgan scene. But there was some other interesting stuff in there that I thought uh, was worth talking about, at least for for a few minutes. Um, uh, they're not like in. I guess we can go in chronological order, but I don't. I don't really think so. I, 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 I'm just gonna go in order of importance. <laughs> there's a um, there's a scene with uh, Rocket talking about the Chitari and how they suck, and he's making fun <laughs> of the Avengers for not being able to kill them easier. Um, there's a scene with That's where they talk f- about the fucking alpacas. They talk about alpacas that eat <laughs> that eat the goji berries. If that doesn't make sense to you, it it won't <laughs> when you watch it. Well, it's it's when they're at Tony's house after the the events uh, yes. after killing Thanos, basically. So no, it's not after killing Thanos. It's, is it? No, it's they're at Tony's house. It's when it's when uh it's when I think it's when Steve and them are about to come over. It's right before they come over. Right, right. And so I mean, I mean killing the original Thanos, the oh, Thanos of yes. that timeline. Yes, 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 yes. So it's it's early on in the movie still. Yeah, um, it's like their first trip out there where he's got his like his whole. Yeah, when they go to try to convince him of the time heist. Yeah. And so it's just the, the scene in where him and Pepper are in the kitchen and they're talking about goji berries. And I don't know what goji berries are, but apparently they have an alpaca who likes, to eat, goji, goji berries <laughs> who likes to eat goji berries. Um, I mean, I know they're a berry, <coughs> but I don't know much past that myself. Um, there's a scene with uh, Rhodey talking to Steve. They're like, why did you crash the plane? He's like, there's bombs on it. And like, but why did you have to be in the plane when it crashed? And in case for some reason you guys forgot what plane they're talking about, the plane he crashes in the original Captain America, yes. the first Avenger movie. Yes. Where he gets frozen in ice for, what is it, 40, no, 50 years? 50 years. Yeah, and so <laughs> there's that. Um, there's some other ones I'm not, I'm not recalling now. We just watched all of them. <laughs> Yeah. We just sat and looked at all of them. <laughs> yeah. um, well, we kind of listened while Ted caught up on all of them. I mean, I watched a few of them, too, because I, I thought they were I thought they were really interesting. I thought, the, the, I mean, of course, the the Rocket one where he's just making fun of them for the Tritari thing is hilarious because, obviously, he's from space. He knows how the Tritari work. They've handled them before. But, uh, you know, for the it, Avengers, it, it's the first time they really ever fought aliens. It was, it's funny. It's funny in a way that I can't. I can't explain, like, I can't even think of a good metaphor for it. It's like, it's like watching kids try and tackle something, and you're like, I do this, like, every day, like, like, it happens, yeah. like watching kids, like, try and cook for the first time, you're like, I have to cook or myself. Or old people handle a computer. Yes! <laughs> it's like, now I'm like, they're like, I'm like, kind of open, open Chrome, they're like, alright, so I don't know what you just did, but... <laughs> <laughs> that is not Chrome. <laughs> that is, like, some Scarlet shit. Yeah, what, what, what do you have here? That is a virus. That is a Trojan horse, not Chrome. <laughs> We're not connected to the internet, but you seem to have somehow downloaded, like, a bunch of Trojan horses. Um, yeah. So, it was just like, oh, I just thought that was interesting. Um, then we get some alternative takes to, um, uh, the scene between, uh, Bruce and the Ancient One. 
One is pretty much the scene as we know it. There's a little bit of dialogue change, nothing too major. But there's one where it's just like he gets there, he says what he's doing, and she's like, "Here you go. I knew you were coming. Take it. Whatever." Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, that's what? Like what? And I, I thought that was like, I'm, I'm just kind of imagining the, um, the, the plot of what that movie was. Cause I'm sure the plot was mostly the same because they're obviously still doing the time ice, mm. but. Um, it has some weird uh, implications, I think, of, of what the story would, would have been like there. Because, the cause, I mean, she does kind of uh, admit that she was looking into the future. Because she knows about, like, Doctor Strange. She's like, yeah, he's going to be the Sorcerer Supreme in, like, four years. That's going to be him. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Thanos, whatever. Uh, and just, I'm like, I'm like, and she's like, uh, but then she doesn't understand what they're doing. And she's like, wait, he did what? Stephen Strange did this thing. Yeah. And she's like a little bit confused. And uh so it was just it was just kind of odd for me cuz it felt like if these these both felt like two And now that I'm thinking about it, you know what? The fact that he gave up the stone, which is I believe what surprised her. Yes. Um it's after her death. Yeah. So she may have seen her death, but I think the thing is is you can't see past your own death. Uh possibly. Yeah, with and the, the stone. And that's another thing too, that was because I, I know we were trying to figure out. Yes, we were yes, trying to make sense of yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. You just reminded me. Um, I don't. D- did she say you watched that one, right? You just watched that. Does she say in that one that the does they talk about the snap and how snapping doesn't kill you? You're not dead because the, right. there's something about like the, the 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 glove not being able to bring back dead people. But when he snapped, he didn't kill them. He just removed them from existence. Yes. And so they could theoretically bring everybody back. And of course, back. in the comics, the um, <clears throat> not the, is it, it's not it, it is the Soul Stone. Yeah. The Soul Stone basically creates its own little pocket universe where it sends everybody that was snapped out of the real universe. Yeah, if I remember correctly, yeah. So it, you know that probably something very similar happened in the movie. Yeah, and I know a lot of people. They just didn't really go into detail about that because it. They probably felt it wasn't relevant. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people b- between um, Infinity War and Endgame uh, theorized exactly that because, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason. They're, because they a lot a lot of people just like made a lot of content about like, oh, I think this is what's happening in the Soul Stone, and these are the people that are in there, and this is how they're interacting because <laughs> a lot of the people that got snapped didn't necessarily meet each other in the first Infinity War. Mm-hmm. Like so, it was like because there was like the three teams, and they're like, well, Spider Man never got to see Captain. And at this part of the movie, he didn't get to see, or not Captain, but like Bucky or any of them, and, you know. And so, yeah, at this point, they're like, oh yeah, now they're all interacting in the Soul Stone, and that would have been well, because if you, uh, and here's the thing though, <clears throat> it seems like in in the movie version of the of this, mm-hmm. if that is what happened, maybe they didn't interact while they were in there, because from the words of Peter himself, yeah, he, he says like back, we were gone, and then, and then we were there. We yeah. were back, and, like, and, he's like, and you were gone. And it's like and I didn't know what was going on. And he said, uh, he said, "Mr. Strange said that." So maybe either either they didn't interact while they were in the Soul Stone. It, like I said, if that's what it was, or maybe when they were moved from the Soul Stone back to reality, <clears throat> what happened in the Soul Stone may have just been simply been wiped away from them. Yeah, possibly because because uh, they did say that when they were doing it, when he told uh, Bruce to do it, he's like, "You're bringing them back." As exactly as the when they left to now, yeah. that's that's it. You're not changing the past. You're just bringing them from when they left to here. Yeah. So and, it might it might be like the whole you know, be careful what you wish for from a genie because if you're too literal, yeah, it could end up being something bad. You know. And so the fact <clears throat> that he was so literal in wanting to bring them back exactly as how they left, not changing anything else, yeah, wiped everything between that point mm-hmm. away. Yeah. That's a possibility, and then, um, uh, and so then, so you have those two scenes. There's, um, there's the scene with with Morgan, which it, which on its own, like if you if you if you if it wasn't placed in the movie, which which you know we didn't see it placed in the movie, because we're watching it on Disney Plus. But uh, I know some people did go see like the extended cut in theaters where it had that. scene They did in it. add it in. Yeah, where they did add that in. Um, um, <coughs> It's it, it does feel powerful. It does feel like really really emotionally charged and like sad because you kind of because going in like we understand like what the scene is and what's yeah. happening, but I'm sure that if we were watching this movie for the first time, 
and we saw this person, it would take a minute to kind of understand what's happening. Like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure like we would have connected it like pretty fast because like we know what happened here the last time we were here. It was yeah. um, it was Thanos and Gamora. <laughs> so you're like, oh, him and his daughter. And then this is I guess this is probably his daughter. You know, you could have you could have pieced it together, but it yeah. wouldn't have been like immediate. Um, and it is, it is a really emotional scene. Like, um, it was kind of cathartic for, to see Tony just like see the fruits of his efforts, you know? And, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of people, um, um, attribute the, the, the quote, the, um, uh, being hopeful or whatever is about planting a tree that you won't ever see or planting, planting, planting a seed in a garden. You won't be there to appreciate or something you know, like that and i'm like i'm like that's that's really true but it, like i'm glad he at least in this extended cut got to see you know what was what what he was going to be putting into the world you know yeah. at least some of it um <clears throat> uh um and then what else was there there was another one. Oh, the the one I, the one the one that made me want want to have this conversation was the uh there's a scene that's about a minute long like it's not very like super eventful but it's Right after uh, uh, Tony does his snap, um, and every every Avenger and Guardian and and just every every All the heroes every hero there uh, just takes a knee, and it's this long somber scene of just everybody just like 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 one realizing Tony's gone like he's dead, and then just trying to pay respects after this long just effort and like i'm sure it's it's and it's and it's way it's way more powerful when you when you when you take in everything that he at first didn't want to do this you know he he was most afraid of giving up what he has now even though he had already lost something he's like but i i still there's still stuff for me to lose Mm -hmm. and he's like that's what he was worried about and then of course he's the one to pay the ultimate price and everybody has to just sit there and and kind of take that in um And and I, I realize uh, why it wasn't in the scene because I know it's it's still a heated topic the the people kneeling for the flag and we're not gonna get into that discussion here but it, it was it yeah, wasn't we, it, we do try to avoid politics it, and stuff like that so here. it's a sensitive topic yeah it is it is a very sensitive topic people would people would have been upset it was in my mind it was a beautiful scene mm-hmm. it was I think exactly what was probably deserved for that moment Mm -hmm. you know because it was whether you like the iron man movies or not he is the one that started all of this Mm -hmm. because i know there are some people that don't care for either robert downey jr as an actor because of some of the things he's done in the past or iron man or they don't like iron man as a character yeah they don't like tony stark as a character but i mean he's the one that started the whole thing, he's probably the one character that goes through the most character growth mm-hmm. throughout the entire franchise up to this point. So, I mean, it was just, it was... Because it, it, it was, so there was the, there was the fact, there's like the in, in-universe in thing that's happening where Tony Stark is of course dying and all of the story implications that has the, the him not being able to see his daughter grow up and, and you know, paying the ultimate price, like I said, but then... The, you have the in, like in real life sort of thing, or like this is his last movie, you know, where he's kind of the star of it. Like they said that, like oh maybe he'll pop up in flashbacks in like Black Widow or something, or some of the other movies. I'm like, but like for the most part, we're not going to see him grow anymore right. because even if we go in flashbacks, that's an old Tony Stark. Yeah, we're not seeing any new developments. It's like oh no, that's where he was when this was happening. Yeah, you know, and, I, I have no doubt we'll see cameos here and there, but yeah. it, like you said, it's going to be. <laughs> Tony Stark's that have already been established at certain mm-hmm. points in the timeline. Yeah. Um, and so it was, it was just, it was just really strong. Like, um, I, and I wish it could have made the final cut and I know, and I know the reason it did and it kind of sucks that that's, that's why they did that. Um, and then I think the last one that's worth talking about, this one's more of a story thing than anything else was the, um, the, the Vormir scene my favorite yeah <laughs> so the, the, yeah well then maybe we should let ted yeah ted, tell us so, about so, it ted, tell us what, what what happened on the form machine you so just you just watched it they're trying to decide who jumps off the cliff yep. for the stone and, and, and 
And they're about to go like, I'm doing it. No, I'm doing it. And then all of a Which sudden, is what we exactly saw in the movie. And yeah. Exactly. That I'm, at that moment, freaking Thanos and his, and his posse comes. And they start shooting up the place. And then Black Widow and then start fighting people. And they're like, not just try to fight the people to survive, but they're also trying to fight to get to the edge. So they're just like doing risky things. And then Black Widow like gets up and runs. And she gets shot in her chest. And I was like, boy. I was like, whoa! She, I was like, she got shot. I was like, and then she was like, and then she like turns around and she's still shooting people. And she's like, it's like, it's like a, I don't think it's a hole in her chest, but she got shot. It's like a big wound. Yeah, she has yeah. like a wound. You, she's can, like you can see from. it. I don't know if it's like not edited because like you can just see the black part of it. Yeah. Or if it's just like that's. I don't know if that's what a laser is supposed to do to you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, Nobody's yeah. ever gotten shot like that, and then yeah. and then like was still yeah. moving. Yeah, and she got up and she was like doing that, and she got shot like probably like three or four times. Yeah. From the like from the chest, and she got shot in the back, and she got shot in the, like the stomach area, and then she's like on the ed- like on the edge, and she's crawling. She's like crawling to jump off the edge, and she looks back, and then Clint is about to get hit, and she should have let him have get hit, but she she didn't want to because she wants him to survive. And she shot the, like, whatever. I don't even know what it was. She just had a gun. I don't, uh, uh, yeah, she did just have a gun shooting all this. She just had a pistol. But she shot, what was it? Was it what, what was the alien? I don't know. I don't it's like one of the, it's probably one of the Chitauri. Or, yeah, or one of the, something. I one of the other out. things that come in, in, in Infinity War. I don't know what they call oh. those ones. Yeah, I don't, it's <laughs> it's some kind of, like, drone species. Yeah, yeah and then so it was that about they to, use like, as cannon fodder. It was about to stop, it was about to stab him, and she shot him in the head. And she's, uh, he's like looking at her, and she's looking at him, and Thanos is coming down like the stairs, like, "Hey, yo, what's up?" And then she like, she just jumps, and then she sacrificed herself, and then he's like screaming, and then and then it cuts off, and then I didn't know what happened right after that. But you know what the funny part of all that was, is that I don't think I don't think Red Skull can die. Can he die? I don't no, because he's not even there. Yeah, because when when they started the shooting, there. when they started shooting, he went through him, and he looked like. <laughs> he just, and he fucking disappeared like, like bro well, like I would have sat there and watched it I mean what else are you doing yeah, <laughs> like, it, I don't think he's a corporeal entity anymore yeah, yeah so, I'm pretty sure he was just like man I ain't got time for this bullshit like, I really I really like this scene because like somebody die and then I'll care <laughs> yeah I really like this scene because <laughs> that whole scene in the, the original cut basically is there I mean it was alright like you kind of knew it was coming when they were like alright Clint <coughs> Scarlet where are you going? You're going to Vormir. I'm like, fuck. No, and when they, and they're like, yeah, Vormir, yeah, beautiful. Like, this isn't beautiful. Whatever, Budapest or whatever, you know. And then I'm like, oh, all of us are like, oh, okay. Fucking Budapest, here we go. So, fucking, yeah. <laughs> so, one of them you and die. I remember that very differently. Yeah. Yeah. The freaking. Um, and so and then like I get I get the fight they had against each other <clears throat> to, to jump off the edge, right? Like, yeah. I get it. I don't know. Like I just feel like. Maybe I feel like maybe if like now while when we're recording this, there's the black the Black Widow movie. I feel like if that was before, um, if that came out before Endgame instead of um, Captain Marvel, I feel like the original cut would have felt a little bit more like yeah because we, you feel like there would have been more emotion behind it yeah because with just Infinity War and Endgame we didn't get a lot of. Natasha to miss. We've, yeah, yeah, we've never really gotten her backstory outside of the comics. Yeah, well, yeah. we got a little bit of a glimpse in it in um, Age of Ultron when um, Scarlet Witch but, messed with her head. Yeah, and that's just not even like even a little bit. We didn't even know and what then, the fuck was going on. If you if <laughs> if you watched um, the show Agent Carter, you got to see a little bit more of it I too. See, I didn't see that either. Yeah. Um, is that is that still canon? Is that still? On? Yeah, yeah, Agent, that's canon. yeah. Oh yeah, okay. she's in um because um didn't they make a cameo in. Yeah, the cameo is in Endgame. The, oh, the, you're right. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. The 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 butler or whatever. Whoever oh, yeah. opens the door. The the uh, Jarvis, the the guy who played Jarvis in um, Agent Carter, reprised the role for Endgame. He's the yeah. he he he's, opens the door for um, yeah Tony's after, father. It was after they say goodbye. Howard Stark. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, like, I thought I saw that. I was like, oh wait, yeah, I remember. Him. Yeah, I didn't even watch the show. And I knew that, yeah. But yeah, but I feel like it would. That's cool because he was like my favorite character from that show. The original cut probably would have had more, like you said. More. Well, I feel like because like at that point when she jumped off, I'm like, of course it's gonna be her. I mean, okay, so here's the thing: going back to um, I, mean, I love I love Black Widow. Going back to uh, the, 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 um, the first Avengers movie. Yes. Um, I don't know why I couldn't speak. Uh, but anyways, you feel like there's 
something there between Nat and and Clint. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what they were going to, but then they went the whole Nat and Hulk route with the relationship stuff. Well, and well, so they gave yeah. Clint his own family. Like mm-hmm. obviously, we knew he had a daughter from the comics. I'm not sure about the 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 rest of the family, whether his wife and he had sons or whatever, like he has in the in the um, cinematic universe. Yeah. Um. But you 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 felt like. In that movie, that's you know there was something there between the two of them that was more than just friends or colleagues. Well, and and it's not it's not that that's necessarily not there, but because like when um when they go to his, his his house, she knows everybody, and then like she's, oh yeah, she's, she's Aunt, Aunt Nat, she's Aunt Nat, and nobody even fucking knew he had family or kids. They're like they're like what the fuck you yeah and like and like she knows not only does she know she's been here before she comes here all the fucking time like, yeah apparently. tony stark said are those actors or something yeah <laughs> <Are those actors? laughs> and then and so like they're still they're still obviously very close because he's the one person that he trusted around his family yeah even though she was a fucking assassin at some point he's like no i trust you 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 are a part of my family yeah you know um and so but like even then it, it still puts that it still puts all of the weight on that scene on hawkeye it's not it's not her making a sacrifice, it's Hawkeye now losing his friend after he lost his family. Yeah. He's losing his friend to get his family back. And I think when when they when they went the whole route of giving Hawkeye a full family and then changing her to Aunt Nat, they what they tried to do was they tried to make it more of a like a a, a brother sister type mm-hmm. closeness with the underlying there maybe could have been something mm-hmm. in another time you know kind of thing like if, if he didn't have the family maybe then there couldn't have been something between them mm-hmm. but because he has that family it's more of a you know she's she wants to stay close to him because she does have feelings for him deep down inside but she knows she can never show them mm-hmm. kind of thing but I and I think that whole thing does lend a little more emotion to the scene that we do see in the final cut. Like obviously the 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 alternate scene where Thanos shows up and you know everything's just going all the all the shit mm-hmm. um, is a little more intense. It's more dramatic. But like I said, I think that what we did get to see, what we saw in the movie, was more emotional. Mm-hmm. And that's what they were going for. They wanted to try and bring out as much emotion as possible. And like Ted said, if we had gotten the Black Movie Widow, uh, the, Black the Black Widow movie, movie <laughs> before Endgame, then yeah, I think that would have lent more to the emotion because we would have understood Nat more. Yeah, there there would have been a lot more like tied to her. Because um, really, all we get from her in the movies is that she's. Like, if you were to give her any kind of character that she feels a lot of emotions for other people, whether it's for, for Steve or, or Bruce or, or Clint, she's like, she, like, they, all, there's always these implied emotions that she has for everybody. Yeah, and then of course but she never in, gets to do anything for it. Like, if, 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 if like, in if, Winter Soldier, there was that implied thing between her and Steve. Yeah, and, and like, if they, if they had made it like, like a, like a constant, like, thing that her character was like, I make great sacrifices <laughs> for the people I care about. That's just what I do. You know, it's like, it's like, it's my fault. You know, it's like, like it's her, her one thing that she's always going to do no matter what, even though she's a trained assassin and whatever, it's like, I will make great sacrifices for those that I care about. Yeah. If like, if it was like, if this was like the final one, the final time she did that, that would have been, that would have been incredible. And there was like plenty of chances to like write that in for her doing something for Clint or for Bruce or for Steve. Like she's, she is, she like, she does like help them a lot, but it's usually in like these tricky espionage ways where like there's like nothing really comes of it yeah. like she kind of lets them go in civil war like oh yeah go fly whatever i'm gonna pretend that i fought you and <clears throat> and then like just all the other times it's, it's never anything really big like really like emotionally tied in any way and, yeah because we don't understand where the emotions are coming from we don't understand yeah. her we get little bit we get little bits of her over the course of the the movies that she's in mm-hmm. but once again, it comes back to the fact that, yes, we've got the Black Widow movie coming, mm. 
But because we haven't had it already, we don't understand Natasha yeah. Romanoff. We don't understand, like you know, like you guys have both said, we've gotten little glimpses. You know, when Scarlet Witch messed with her head, with Agent Carter, uh, you know, introducing the program that developed her into an assassin. Mm-hmm. You know, and of course now we've gotten a few more glimpses until we get the movie with the trailer. But we don't, un- the, the, the problem is we just don't understand Natasha as a character unless you know her from the comics. Yeah, and, and she does not, she's not very true to her comic book self, I would say. Her comic book, her comic book counterpart is, is way more interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on. I, right. I feel like we're going to get it a little bit of that in the movie. It kind of feels that way, but... Um, it's a little off-putting, though, that we're getting it after she's dead, though. Yeah, that does suck. That does suck so much. Because there's no... There's no room to further develop her as a character. Yeah. You know, you're gonna... Well, she's basically going to go from being the, the Russian assassin that was made, and she's going to develop into, essentially, who we saw in Iron Man 2, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. Well, not, now, that, now that you guys are talking, I just thought about it. There's also um, the Disney Plus show um, WandaVision where... No, not WandaVision. It's actually... Um, it's the movie. The second um, Doctor Strange movie. Um, the Multiverse of Madness. The Multiverse of Madness where they said that two Avengers are going to come back to life. So it's rather... Obviously, it's not Tony Stark. So And obviously, it's probably one of them's vision. And it could rather be Black Widow or it could be... Um, What's his name? Who else Who, died? Uh, Age of Ultron. Um, his, his, her brother. Oh, Quicksilver. Oh, Quicksilver. Quicksilver. I think so, they'll bring Quicksilver back. So, Fuck, I would love for Quicksilver to come so back. So, yeah. So, obviously, we don't know yet. So, maybe that's because, playing heartstrings. And, and the thing is, too, now, the, the what lends more credence to the fact that Quicksilver could come back is the fact that Disney bought all uh, of the X-Men rights from Fox. And then, yeah. and then another thing that it's a slim chance, but also that, um, that's, um, that um, Black Widow might come back as well. Is that because because they already hinted at it at an all girl Avengers team up thing they had yeah. in Endgame? Now it's actually speaking that they they really want to pursue that as, yeah. not, as like another. But there's uh, other there's other female characters yeah. they could use. They could easily use. I forget. I, I am really sorry, but who's uh, Black Panther's sister? What's her name? Shuri. 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 You could, Shuri. Yeah. Uh, you could easily have her sub in instead. Yeah. Um, you could have the captain of the the guard. Uh, um, Wakanda's royal guard fit in. Um, yeah. um, Okoye, is that her? Okoye, I don't know. I, feel like that's I haven't watched the movie enough to memorize I all I their feel names. I like it's Okoye, but I might yeah, be fucking but crazy. Like, there's, there's a bunch of unknowns too, because like, it is kind of weird that they did this so late. Yeah. I feel like they wanted maybe to, to do this earlier. It's just that they had so much else that they had to introduce. Yeah. Like, especially with you know, releasing Captain Marvel so we kind of knew the the backstory of the character. I feel like what happened was with their planning on bringing Captain Marvel into Endgame, mm-hmm. they felt like they had to do something else. They had to bring that movie out in order to give us more of Captain Marvel, whereas we'd already had, what, four, five other movies where Black Widow had been in. Mm-hmm. You know, she was in Iron Man 2. She was in um, Winter Soldier. She was in uh, Avengers, oh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah. Well, and, and so one of the one of the, Civil one War. of the funny things is is that um, uh, Brie Larson did Endgame before Captain Marvel. Right. So all of her acting in Endgame was kind of flat because she didn't know who this character was. There wasn't a lot of room for her to develop this character because she only shows up like three times. And every time she's fighting or kicking somebody's ass and they're dying immediately. And yeah. then it's just fucking over. And then by the time you get to Captain Marvel and you actually see that character and, and then and then you watch Endgame and you're like, like, where's where's Carol Danvers? <laughs> yeah. Like, Captain Marvel's there, but where's Carol Danvers? Oh, yeah. Brie Larson, she did an amazing job in Captain Marvel. Yeah. Mm. I mean, the character was... I, I, I that was a, you know, we were talking about controversy in our previous episode. There was a lot of controversy for Captain Marvel oh, yeah, with Brie absolutely. Larson playing the role of Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um, but I thought she did an amazing job. I thought she played the character extremely well. 
Uh, but yeah, you're absolutely right. The performance in in game is much, much. It's more torn down. It's flatter, like you said. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's not her fault. No, it's means. not because they hadn't developed the character yet. Yeah. It was not fleshed out yet. And it's, I mean, even now, it's still not fully fleshed out. We're, we got to wait until the next Captain Marvel movie or mm-hmm. the next Avengers movie whenever that comes out. I think we're going to get a Captain Marvel before. Avengers, yeah. because yeah, I think they're they're waiting quite a bit before they do another Avengers. Because uh, I think they already said the next Avengers movie is going to be like an extremely toned down threat. And it's going to be like that for a while. Yeah, probably. Because we're not going to We're not going to get another Infinity War in-game type of event. For, for quite some time. time, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I, I think we I think we need to go back to <clears throat> more self-contained storylines. Boots on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. You know, something that can be wrapped up within you know a two and a half hour movie. I can't wait for Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. That's there's a lot of steps in between. There we need the Inhumans. We have the Inhumans, well, but, we, but getting, we need them in the main in the main. Isn't universe. she getting a yeah. Isn't she getting a Disney Plus thing? She's. I don't think she's getting a show yet. Yeah, because because they said I thought it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I swear, because they I said thought it was one of the. Sh- they said, but it's supposed to be one of the the, the later, later shows. Yeah, there's so a lot like of stuff that needs to happen. Within one to two yeah, years, that. and then because at cause least because they, they said that she's gonna get a Disney Plus thing, and then she's gonna be the one that's in the movies, obviously. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Movies, that's cool. yeah. But um, because her whole character is around two things, it's uh, Inhumans because she's an Inhuman, mm-hmm. uh, and her being of uh, not only like an Avengers fangirl but a a Carol Danvers fangirl, like completely. Oh shit! And that's why she chose chose to adapt that moniker because bef- in the comics before Carol <laughs> was Captain Marvel, she was Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. While there was already a regular Captain Marvel, but then when he died, she like yeah. Like, oh, it's me now. Well, was it a he? <clears throat> the original Captain Marvel, yeah. It was Captain Marvel. Yeah, it was Marvel. Yeah, the original Mar- Marvel. So was they they gender swapped Marvel in Captain Marvel. Didn't yeah, they, they did, uh, okay. and they kind of changed. See, I'm not a hundred percent like up with the comics on everything. I know the basic outline <laughs> of where stuff's supposed to go. I'm more familiar with the cinematic universe and the TV shows. Uh, just a just a just a weird random fact. If I'm remembering correctly, um. Marvel was long dead by the time Civil War was happening in the comics, but because of some weird, strange interaction, he ended up a, a version of him ended up in the quantum realm, where they had the super duper villain prison for all the heroes and villains they were capturing during Civil War, really? and they had him run it, even though they knew he had cancer and was gonna die soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And that was like it was like a weird big bomb drop because that's something I knew. I remember I remember him having cancer was like a was like a really like uh like grounding moment for like comics as a whole. They're like, he can just get cancer. Like a like a superhero is getting cancer. Yeah. And he's gonna die. And and then like I remember like watching videos about that. And then and then and then this happened. And I'm like, fuck. Why are they gonna make me live through that again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. But yeah. And then so there's I think there's two more scenes we didn't talk about. There's one. There's one that I that uh there's one with Tony and his dad and it's just a it's just a slightly longer dialogue about him talking about like wanting to create a legacy for his his daughter and whatever and it was just slightly longer there's not a lot there to it um and then there's another one uh oh there's two more there's one called In the Trench where it's a scene we did get in the movie but this one's slightly extended where we just see everybody's face that's in this movie. It's like, oh, here's them, the Guardians. There's this person. There's oh. there's Gamora. There's there's this one. And then Ted saw the fucking dude from Guardians. He was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> Why is he there? I was like, oh, I was like he's from Guardians. Like, yeah, you not remember? Like, but was he in Endgame? I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, that's why. And then um, he's not an Endgame. He doesn't matter. And then there was. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Please don't crucify me in the comments. And then there's the. Um, not that we get any anyways. Then there's the. <laughs> <laughs> Then there's one of the scenes where it's, it's a scene where they're making the suits for the time heist, and they're talking about how time travel works. And so I, I watched it, and then I watched it with the commentary on. And the reason they they changed it, they 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 were it was just a lot of science techno babble. But the reason they changed it was because they were like when they when they, I guess when they tested it, uh, a lot of people were frustrated that they didn't like 
relate it to Back to the Future or Star Trek. Or, yeah, and they're and then which is the two things they immediately referenced. Yes, and they're like, we didn't realize how socially ingrained Back to the Future was. I'm like, how the fuck do you not realize that? <laughs> like everybody knows what Back to the Future is. Yeah, like kids, the kids, still even people know. who haven't seen it still know what Back to the Future is. Exactly, like they know the DeLorean and everything and time travel. Yeah, they and, don't know so much about the whole Star Trek aspect, but. Yeah, the Star Trek the Star Trek one was crazy. I still remember that movie, but uh, but yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, but yeah, and then, so they're like, oh, so we changed it to immediately reference those two things to give somebody a frame of reference for all this techno babble we're about to give them. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, that that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's that's all I wanted to talk about. I just thought there there's some interesting things in there. Um, I because I'm just a person. Uh, I love director commentaries, and when I say that, it's I don't watch director commentaries on everything. I watch director commentaries on certain things that I don't have enough content of. So like basically things you deem important. Yes. So <laughs> things I I things I deem important that other people do not. <laughs> so it's like, oh what how am I gonna Might ex- not. Let's go with might not. And I'm like, who am I gonna talk to about this thing? I'll talk to the director by having him <laughs> say things at me while I watch this movie again. So like I watched it for uh signs of course and that was a trip. That's a trip to listen to M Night talk about things. <laughs> um, uh, and I'm then, sure it is. And then one of the first times I ever did it was watching uh, the Pokemon movies and just hearing all of, like the insider information about how Pokemon is made, like the show. I was like, it just blew my fucking little ten year old mind because he's like, he's like, oh yeah, and, and then and he like calls somebody over. He's like, this is the guy, and you can hear him like off off. He's like, hey, come here. And he's like, what do you want? <laughs> and he like comes over. He's like, this is the guy that does Psyduck, and he's like, Psyduck, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it comes. To, I, like I said, it was just that's just some interesting stuff. I really enjoy. Um, yeah. Anything you want to add, Ted? No, it's fine. I'm glad right. to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manuel more had more stuff to say, but I like you know I agree with what he said. Like I, I said what I had to say about that yeah. part. Everything so else is cool. one one thing before we wrap this up, you know, obviously the whole scene between <clears throat> uh, Tony and the o- older Morgan. Mm-hmm was completely finished up because it was added into the extended edition yeah. that was re-released in theaters. Yeah. Um, hear noise, go ahead. But the, from what I understand, because I didn't watch every scene with Ted, obviously, but I was listening to what you were saying and, you know, the stuff that, it seems like the, the scene between Clint and Nat and Thanos on Vormir was probably, it, it probably was one of the last scenes cut. Or changed because yeah. you were saying how how close to finished it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because more was, than anything else that was, any was, of the other deleted it honestly scenes. Honestly, looked more fully rendered than the Morgan scene. And until Mangus well, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to do with the Morgan scene. It's not like there were well, things well, flying around. Like, was, well, when you see it, you, you, it's, it's a very obvious like green screen effect. Yeah, because they didn't clean it up because it still looks like there's like a circle around him. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, let, let, let's say. You know, while the, the CGI has improved massively over the last decade alone, yeah, there's the, you're still, you're still going to of... be able to tell what's green screen for many, many more years. Yeah. Until they, you know, once, you know, it, it'll probably be at least another 20 years before they get the technology down to the point to where you can't tell the difference between something that's CGI and something that's live action. I'm just waiting for, like, the holodeck. That's what I want. That's a Star Trek reference. I want to live in the holodeck. I want a holodeck too. I would love one. <laughs> yeah. uh, but of course, I'm a diehard Star Trek fan, so yeah, of course you are. Hey, you're you're basically our Marvel expert. He's our Pokemon expert, and I'm the Star Trek expert. We all got our own expertise, man. The two of those are cooler than the other. <laughs> I know Star Trek and Pokemon are way cooler than Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, have you guys seen the deleted scenes? If so, what do you guys think? Um, what it, what were your feelings about the whole Tony Morgan scene? Um, and then, of course, us describing the, the, the Vormir scene. Would you have rather seen that in the movie? Or were you happy with what you got between mm-hmm. Nat and Clint? Let us know down in the comments. I think, I think, I don't know, I, I might personally, I don't know if you guys want to do it, I might go back and watch some of the other deleted scenes, because I never owned these movies on um, 
like DVD or anything. Mm-hmm. So if if there are more extras and deleted scenes and like commentaries on these movies, I oh, probably I'm sure will, they've got. I will probably go a back bunch and, of them. Go back and watch them if you guys want to talk about that with me. You guys can talk about that with me. Yeah, it could be something worthwhile. Yeah, might be something fun to do. Yeah, so you know, stay tuned for that. That might happen. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. but uh, otherwise, uh, as always, thank you guys for joining us. And until the next one, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.